What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. So lads, basically in this video we are going to be selling all of the cards we got in earlier's pack opening. So if you guys don't know, we had a bunch of packs, and we opened a load of free ones. I just didn't open a few of the contract packs and a few of the bad ones because it really didn't matter. We had over 100, but there's a lot of cards that we can now sell. The, uh, the highlight of it all was the fact that we pulled... Alan freaking Iverson. So let's have a look what he is in the auction house. Is he in 80k? Oh my god. I just get eight, if I get 80k for Iverson. Let's see what Clay Thompson's going for. Clay Thompson's 40k. Man, he's worth about 10. Oh my god. I completely undershot the value of these cards. And there's another thing that we got. We got a shoe that I think is very, very good. We got the Fear of Gods. Holy moly. This is a 40k shoe. This is a 40k shoe, but it looks at things. That is madness. Oh my god, why is there so many of them put up at the exact same time? Oh, someone price fixed them. Someone price fixed this shoe. Oh my god, how many of them is there? They're all being put up in the same minute. For the same price. Why is there so many of this shoe? Like, I, I actually don't know what price that it's going for. Because I'm going to have to scroll all the way to the 4 hour mark. Because I don't think you can search for this specific shoe. In the auction house. So, I need to literally... And the auction house scrolls so slowly. Oh, this is going to take a long time. Why is there like 15 of them being put up in the same minute? This doesn't make sense. Okay, it's a cheaper shoe. Obviously, everyone must be pulling it in these packs, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, so it's probably a 20k shoe. It's probably more like a 20k shoe now. We are halfway there. We're not, we're not going to be able to get the 4 hour mark. This shoe... I don't know what price this shoe is because I'm not going to be able to find what price this shoe is. Okay, it's going to take too long, so... Send to my auctions to see what price this shoe is here. This is probably like an 8k shoe, I'd say. There's so many shoes up right now. It's probably because of those mystery packs, to be honest. Um... You know what, it's because of those mystery packs, we're actually, I'm going to sit on them. I'm going to sit on them then. Considering that there's no way that um the sub, that the supply doesn't go down. Or sorry, the, yeah, the supply doesn't go down these shoes. So, I'll keep it in the auction just in case. So, let's have a look at the Clippers ornament ball. Color. What color are these balls? Are they amethyst? They are amethyst, I think. So... Franchise, card type, ball cards, color. I don't know. Can you? These definitely aren't bronze, silver, or gold. And there's no. You can't put clippers in either. That's really weird. Oh, can I search for the auction house actually? I completely forgot that that's a thing. Premium or miscellaneous. Basketballs, holiday balls, West. Clippers ball is 3k by the looks of things. 2k, 1k. Okay, 1.5k. I would have thought it was more than that, but you know what? I'll take 1.5k. I will gladly, gladly take 1.5k. And we got Jimmer for that as well, who's actually quite cheap, so. Let's just say 1400. And that's, I'm never going to use this ball again, so let's put it up for 1500. 12 errors, hope for the best. Let's see what other cards there are. So, Iverson is a definite card we're going to be selling. Alan Iverson, color Galaxy Opal. Let's see what price he is. Like, I did not think I was going to be able to get him this cheap. Sorry, I did not think I was going to be able to get him in a free pack. I was so hoping it was Simmons, though. It was 50 50 on Simmons or Iverson. So, 79k. That's not a bad, that's a really good price. I mean, we're going to be well over the 400k. 
Like, we're actually probably going to be closer to half a million. Like, if I actually went and sold out some of these players, especially because I probably will go and sell Moss Turner as well. Let's see what Clay Thompson's going for. One of the single worst value cards in the game. Um, Pink Diamond Clay. Not a bad card by any means, just terrible value. Because he doesn't do anything. He's, he's literally a cone. I thought he was like 20 in the 20k range. He's actually well over 30k. That is a really, really solid, solid player that we pulled from a free pack right there. 33k. Okay. 12 hours. 32k maybe? Going for that for 12 hours. Should sell. Um, other cards in my collection, search, card color, pink diamond, cards that I really don't care about. Uh, let's send Jimmer to my auctions, I'll never use Jimmer. I will also never use Turner again. I do like Turner, I'm never going to use him again. Just saying that right now, I will never use him. Like, there will be a use for Mirasan. As much as I like Turner, like, I can't really argue that Turner is better than Hakeem, who I have. Like he's not expensive. Turn is a really good value card, but it's not like he's great. Like he's he's solid. He's more he's a more than solid player. But I can't justify having 20k tied up in him. So 20k maybe. Let's see if we if we can get 20k for Jimmer, I'll be happy as well. I'll be very, very happy if we can get that for Jimmer. Because I think Jimmer is quite a good card as well. Or is Jimmer is quite a good card. Go, might go for a little bit, but is most definitely not worth picking up. A 25k, like, again, he's not a bad peak shooter. I just don't particularly think that the card is great nowadays. 19, okay, so he's around 18k. That is kind of what I would have expected him to be for a not great pink diamond at this stage. Especially when for that price, you are literally getting... You're getting a god tier card nowadays. For 18, 150. Like, you're getting Joe Call over cheaper than that, like. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is the team that we have got right now. And I'm going to go and play a game Unlimited. I'm actually going to change up the lineup a little bit. We're going to take Lafonso Ellis out and put Caldwell in. We're going to go with... I'm going to change up the lineup a little bit. So Batum for this game, Batum is gonna go out of the team. And Unse I don't know, I'll, I'll put Wade in. I'm gonna put Wade in and there's a reason for it. I'm gonna run with three of these dudes. The three bet three fastest releases in the game. Well, you've got base 38 with Eddie Curry as well. Three of these guys, Dean Wade, Eddie Curry. Then off the bench. Yeah, I'll go with this lineup here. Chuck in the bronzes contract reasons and yeah i'm happy with this team i am perfectly perfectly happy with this team so anyway yeah that is pretty much it so see if any of our cards sell Moss turner did and you're gonna get onto the game and fingers crossed by the end of the game a couple of these guys have sold and we'll have made 100k 120k we'll be on closer to the uh 450k mt range but anyway now let's get on to the game okay so we're playing against very very weak opposition right here we are, we're good. We are more than good. We're not losing this game. Okay, like, let's be real. I don't need to do any settings here. I can just 21 delay job here. And we are out three to first one. Let's go. That first three to game, I'm telling you, goes in at way too high rate. Okay. He's out there playing no meter. So I'm just going for handoff. Head it right back to him. Like he's got no clamps on. I'm pretty sure. I know CP3 does as far as I know. I don't think he has clamps on anyone else. Green. Good shot there by Joe Caldwell. Let's go. I'm telling you that a Caldwell. Caldwell Wade Rice at the 1, 2, and 3. That is going to be a, a difficult, difficult combination to stop. As we go on green there with Glenn Rice. And it's one three-pointer each to start this game. And we have managed to get a rage quit straight away, man. Straight away we get a rage quit with these three guys. All right, let's go. We're going to go. I'll play some TTO. I'll play a game of TTO with them. Okay, so we're going to go with the, the base 98 player. And the two guys that pretty much have base 98. So, yeah, we're going with uh, 
one of the most dangerous trios in the game with Dwayne Wade, uh, Joe Caldwell, and Glenn Rice. And <laughs> we're going to see how we get on. Okay, so we're playing against Kobe, John Morant, and Rick Fox. Evidently, we're playing against someone who likes putting in locker code, who, who's fairly good at ball drops, actually. Actually, yeah, if you get John Morant, that was a tough one to get. And Rick Fox has also not been easy to get at times, so. And um, we blew it. That's bad. You know what? He's got the leaner, though, so. That's a 33% cover. Did not realize that. Either way, two points is two, or three points is three points. Pinch and recover, pinch and recover. At least we're not playing as any bigs. Because that would have made this a little more difficult than it needed to be. Green, good shot there by Caldwell. Let's go. I'm telling you, all three of these guys, I'm not sure exactly how great three of these guys are together. Green that. Good, Joe Caldwell. Let's go. This card is, again, they're all ridiculous. They're all ridiculous to go, these three. Caldwell probably, like, Caldwell's 98 is definitely better than Wade's. Wade's Wade base. And same with Glenn Rice. Uh, but obviously, um, Glenn Rice has got the best rating. Wade, because he's 6'4", has a little bit faster base. Or a little bit faster jump shot than Glenn Rice. But Glenn Rice, he has the rating and the shooting badges advantage. So all three of these guys are good in different ways. Good. Let's go. Now we're starting to cook. Alright, so we are four... What are we, what are we four greens of five? Or four... Makes from five, three greens from five. Just shoot that. I really don't care at this stage. Even if you do go and hit a white. Or hit a late. Okay, let's... We get the ball Wade's hands. Wade hasn't scored yet. Wade has not scored, so we kind of want him to get the ball. And he's literally... He's just literally been ramming in, fouling this whole... This possession. Just spam and square. Open. And that's another green. There we go. These three. Again, the fact that this guy's running three guards means I can run these three individually. And I'm just taking turns with them. But, like, any of these three, all of these three guys can be unbelievable in TTO. They can be unbelievable, like. They're unbelievable and limited as well, like. Just, just fantastic, fantastic cards. Mainly because of the release. Like, that is one of the most overpowered things in this game, this release. There's good releases as well, though. Like, 38 is really good as well. I'll be the first to admit that 38 is very, very good. Okay, let's go to Caldwell. Who do I want to finish it on? So what's it? Rice has six, weight is three, Caldwell has nine. Actually, I don't really care who I finish it on, just as long as we get open. Wade. Minky, that is game right there. Against three guards, you can't go better than these three guys, to be honest. Oh, sweet. That was a five ball drop game. And just as I say that, we get one of the worst boards possible. You know what? At least the 500 MT is 500, not 100. I've had a 100, one token, 100 board on five ball drops. Or it's four ball drops anyway. I've had that board before, and that is not fun. There's nothing really. Like, Campus Legends packs, I think, are the only thing, good things that are on boards right now. So... It's not like it's anything spectacular either, so we're all we're good anyway. Not a big deal what we get, to be honest. As long as we hit that spinner a few times, I'll be happy. At this stage, that's all that matters is hitting that spinner, because the spinner is likely going to give us almost as much as the max um, ball drop spot. Okay, so let's see who sold. Lovely stuff right there. The three players sold. That is 71 extra thousand for Iverson. That's unreal. Like, we are now at set 463,000 MT. So we are literally, like, selling a bit, a little bit of dead weight off a half a million MT with this squad right here. Like, again, and not only that, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 10 extra opals just kind of sitting there if I ever do need to use them. A bunch of great pink diamonds and a bunch of great diamonds. So... Yeah, I'm perfectly, perfectly happy with how this squad is. And I'm probably going to save that 500 KMT until 500 KMT means you're getting a lot of elite players. Because, like, if you're even... Like, right now, it is... Like, it's June, basically. At the start of July... Probably on the 10th, 15th of July last year, when the duo packs came out. So it's only waiting another month. I've got a more than competent team now. I know for a fact I'm going to go 12-0 in July as well. Um, I'm good. I'm not worried. 
I have no worries at all about going to have an next month. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.